Hello and welcome to Infinity. The box blur is not very often used and often optically understood. It's kind of a, an original, older form of blur, but it's still useful sometimes. So let's have a look at how it works. On the left hand side here, we can start off with the common blur. Whenever we say blur, we generally mean the Gaussian blur. So let's put in a Gaussian blur on the left so that when we change the radius, the left's going to blur. So if I were to keep the edges OK, let's zoom into the middle of this. And what we can see is some typical sort of edges, quite hard ones. But when you've got a, a horizontal one, because the pixels are effectively square, then it looks OK. I've got noise in here as well, because it, it normally there's two things you want to do. is sharpen edges and um, smooth out noise. So if I turn the radius up here, yeah, we can see this. By the way, you can see that, that choppy edge there that's... Um, because it's a curve and because it's not particularly high resolution. So if I increase the radius here, uh, even though it says it's rather odd, it says 0 0.5 pixel. What the heck is 0 0.5 pixels? But anyway, it's it's here. So I move that up and uh, see I've got this uh, coming towards the edge. You can see the edge of the blur there. OK, so uh, when I control zero move out, you can see the kind of effect that is. So I'm going to go to the right, this side, and go to a box blur, which is just underneath. And if I turn the radius up here, similarly I'll zoom in, it's the same thing. If I turn the radius up here, it gets a similar kind of blur going here. Interestingly, if I go over to the other one, Notice the difference. This one is sort of more blurred than this one at the same kind of radius. I think that's 4.6. The other one's 4.6. That's 4.4. .4. Let's set them both the same. 4.4. So let's have a look at how these are different. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go down to this one here to make sure this is a box blur. And have a look at the edge of this. A way to look at this is to take the um, pipette over here and drag this over here. So you've got 255 all the way through, so it's white. Then I come near here, it starts to step down. So that's 245, then 219. So it's round about 25 or so at a time, isn't it? But the steps are equal, which is kind of, if you think logically about a blur, that's sort of what you'd expect. So there's equal steps at the time. So you effectively say, how wide do I want it to be? And divide by that and step them down in the equal amount. However, if I go over here, where am I? Here I am. Now here, this is on the Gaussian blur. There's lots more steps. Yeah, so this is why it looks wider. And we can see why in a minute. Because if I go over here, so I've got them all zero. But as I come in here, Look, it's gone to 1. You can't even see that, but it's still changed. 1. Then th then up to 3. So it's a bigger step. 5, 9, 14. And the steps gradually get bigger and bigger and bigger. Whereas the box blur, it's like going upstairs where each step is the same height. This one, the heights get higher and higher. So you have to step more and more and more as you get towards effectively the middle of where the edge used to be. And then it goes down in the same way out here. So you've got 246, 250, 252, 254, and eventually 255. So it's wider because if you draw a curve of it, it would be sort of like curve up and over and down. That's called a Gaussian curve, which is why this is called a Gaussian blur after Mr. Gauss. So that's the difference between them. And looking at them here, you can kind of see that this is sort of blurrier, but it's a smoother blur. This is more of a hard blur, um, if you can call it that. And this actually highlights how you can use it. For this, if you want that kind of blur, you're typically in sort of graphics where you want an almost sort of like, you know, don't, 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 that sort of thing. Whereas this typically more photographic, where it's sort of smoother. Although you can use this in photographs, when you want that kind of harder thing. For example, here, the corner of this here, in these corners here, notice these corners are 
sort of rounder. You go see blue tends to round corners. If I zoom into that, you can see that sort of rounding because of the way that it works. But if I zoom into this one, it's kind of squarer. So if you've got square corners, you want to preserve those corners whilst doing a blur, a box blur might be a better effect. Anyway, there you go. That's the difference between a Gaussian blur and a box blur. Mostly when you, when you want to blur, use Gaussian. But if you want that particular effect, then go for a box. Thank you very much for watching.